What is the actual deferral and actual contribution percentage test? App slash act. In this episode, you will learn the meaning of the actual deferral and actual contribution percentage test. App slash act. Let's get started. The actual deferral percentage and, and actual contribution percentage act tests are two important tests that companies must take to ensure that their 401k plans never unfairly benefit highly paid employees while others are at the losing end. Hence, the actual deferral and actual contribution percentage test actually help company employers to ensure that everyone benefits fairly from their 401k plans. Every organization that offers 401k plans to its employees must take the test just to maintain the qualified status of their plans under IRS rules and the Employee Retirement Income Security Act ERISA. This is to say that actual deferral percentage at, and actual contribution percentage act tests are often conducted by companies to abide by rules established under the UNJUR IRS and Employee Retirement Income Security Act respectively. When the 401k plans proposed by companies fail the test, the employer must review the plans and take corrective action within 12 months. This period has to follow the close of the plan year in which the oversight occurred. When you ignore taking this corrective action, the IRS can impose plan disqualification, pecuniary penalty fees and liability upon the employer. So you must take action to avoid receiving penalties from the IRS and other bodies. So how does the actual deferral and actual contribution percentage test works? The ADP test focuses on comparing the average salary deferral percentages of highly compensated employees to that of non-highly compensated employees. Let's get this into perspective. Highly compensated employees are employees that own more than 5% interest in the company at any given time during the current or previous plan year or earned more than $130,000 during the tax year. During the ADP test, both pre-tax deferrals and after-tax Roth deferrals are taken into account. However, no catch-up contributions, which may be made only by employees aged 50 and above will be considered. For companies to pass this test, the ADP of the highly compensated employees may not exceed the ADP of the non-highly compensated employees by more than two percentage points. So companies must consider every necessary step to ensure that they pass the test. So how can companies correct failed actual deferral and actual contribution percentage tests? Employers that fail these tests can remedy the failure by refunding extra contributions back to the highly compensated employees with the amount required to pass the ADP slash ACP test. Always keep in mind that the amount to be refunded has to be liable for income tax for all the highly compensated employees. Finally, as a company owner, your primary goal should always rely on passing the actual deferral and actual contribution percentage tests. This will give you the opportunities to satisfy the 401k plans you have for your employees. Thank you for staying put to the end. We hope that you have learned the meaning of actual deferral and actual contribution percentage tests. See you in the next episode.